Hi, Timothy. Hey, congratulations being here on the orange carpet for our uh, box lunch on behalf of uh, Feeding America. How does it feel for being here tonight? It feels awesome. I actually was here last year, and I think it's just such an awesome event, and especially what they celebrate here. Um, you know, it's, it's a great cause, and, uh, you know, it's just, I think, more of just a celebration in general. I know. It, 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 is, it is a great cause, and... Um, are you a fan of Box Lunch? Obviously, you've been here year yes, after year, so yeah. you, you must have an yeah. extensive collection. Definitely a fan of Box Lunch. I've actually been a part of the collective for three years now, and you know they do so much you know, and as far as giving back, and even when you make a purchase, every single thing, they always want to give back, and I think that's very, very important. What do you love to collect? I'm sorry, what'd you say? What do you love to collect? What are uh, Funko Pops? Funk, I'm a big Funko guy. Um, also, anything Disney uh, related. Uh, I actually have like a Disney account, like a Disney Instagram account, and uh, so anything Disney related is always good to go. Wow. So, and, and I'm just curious, how much Disney and Funko Pops do you really have? God. Oh my God. I think there's more than what I can keep count of, but I'd probably say at least. I'm going on 50 now on Funko Pops, at least. So I'm like my my the Funkos are actually going above the ceiling now, which is oh really? Uh, yeah, it's getting a little crazy. Yeah. Is it all in one room? All in one room, but you know what? I might have to just get a separate room just for the Funko Pops because it's crazy. <laughs> well, what about the Disney stuff? The Disney stuff. See, I have a closet. It doesn't fit in my closet no more. I actually have bins that I bought and I, I store them in there now because there's just so much, so much stuff. And Box Lunch is constantly releasing stuff all the time. It, it sounds like you're a vi very big Disney fan. Tell us why. Uh, I think Disney, you know, actually I've, I've had a pa I was fortunate enough to have a past ever since I was a kid. Um, and, you know, I think it's just a great escape, you know, especially when you have work and you have life and you have, you know, everybody goes through stuff. And Disneyland, especially Disneyland, is a great place just to get away uh, for, the, for the evening and just forget about all your problems, you know? Oh, sex. And before I let you go, yeah. how, how often do you go to Disneyland? <laughs> That's a great question. Gosh, probably. I was I was coming up on like three or four times a week. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like like all day or like an hour? Or, like no, just probably probably a good five six hours because I would I would cover I would I would do a lot of theme park coverage. Uh -huh. So I would do things you know covering like the new ride opening or like new merchandise. So yeah, probably, but I, definitely now it slowed down a little bit. But I was going quite a bit. Until they come up with a new ride. Yeah, until they come up with a new ride. Exactly, exactly. Like, well, I think tomorrow, uh, the holidays start at Disneyland already, which is it's crazy. I know, I'm trying to get tickets for that. Yeah. But, but, but you have to pass. Yeah. <laughs> well, awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you.